Come on in, guys. It's Thursday. I uh, see you guys want to see what happened last night after I showed you guys my sink and said fairly well and went to bed. Yeah. That happened. All of that. Laid down, going to sleep, heard something. Riley was in here on the counter with the new spray nozzle, spraying everything with water like a fireman. Yeah. So now I've got to clean all this up today, but I need my coffee first. Riley, where are you going? Yeah, you look like Little Red Riding Hood with your little basket. You just need to put on some clothes. Huh? Where are you going with your little basket? Huh? Yeah, I'm going to go get some donuts, some bellies. You need to come inside. Shut the door. It's going to rain. Shut the door. I don't know where he thinks he's going, though. That little basket was saying bye. He was trying to take his little trike out. I don't think so. Come on, bud. Shut the door. Shut the door. My battery's blinking. All right, my kitchen is put back together. OMG. When Dell came up in here, and I was like right behind him, he was sitting over here, Riley was, had the spray nozzle, and was spraying everything. Underneath my stove was covered in water. So of course we have to lift this up and we had to get all the water and stuff out from underneath and let it dry overnight. All of that was wet all inside the jars and I mean like up to here, okay? My knife, which oh my god I got freaked out about my knife block. <laughs> I'm like really anal about that because it's my Paula Deen knives. Yeah, and all of this was wet and, and I'm not too worried about my little five dollar can opener or my little, you know, ten dollar coffee pot. That's not a big deal, but my knives. <gasps> Yeah, and then if I would have had to like replace this, yeah, so, but we had to let all of that dry and everything, so I have been cleaning and scrubbing and I had to take out all of these and scrub the little metal things underneath there and dry them off and put them back and then I just finished scrubbing my sink. It's just so pretty. I know you guys are like, it's a sink, Monica. I know, but it's just, it's so pretty. I mean, look how much better it looks and it's so much deeper. Woo wee. I am so excited. Yeah, I'm crazy. I'm crazy about a sink. Anyways, <laughs> I just finished doing dishes and wiped it out though, but it's just so nice. I mean, this is a blessing, but then again with Riley, it's kind of like, oh no. I even like these little knobs. I don't know. It's just weird. To be honest, I was kind of sort of hoping for one of those like nozzles that you pull down and you spray like that, but this is still awesome. So it's still pretty nice though, but got it all nice and cleaned up and everything. So I've got to go now um, and work on this bathroom for like taking the pictures and stuff down so he can paint. I'm washing my rugs because my little owl rug that stays at the bottom of my sink was soaking wet. Anyways, but let me show you like a little overview here of this bathroom. So they put in um, this cabinet and this toilet and hopefully the shower is supposed to work like they said. So. Um, and then they put in like a new like rod and rod, but I got to take these pictures down and all of that. It was really funny and ironic because whoever lived here before was a palm tree fan and I used to be a palm tree fan. So I didn't know that until they took out the sink and I was like, oh wow, how ironic. But um, this is supposed to be um, the older boys bathroom. So they have decided to go with Ninja Turtles. So he's going to paint it like a white. Um, it's supposed to be light champagne. So I'm going to take off this and this stuff and the curtains and all that and just kind of get ready to paint. It's kind of a little overview, but I don't know. I think it'll look much better because we've been kind of living with everybody else's um, marks. <laughs> you know, like whoever lived here before, we've been living with like their leftovers <laughs> in the house. And I've just been kind of like, oh yeah, I'll paint, I'll paint, paint. So we finally got around to painting. I'm supposed to paint my laundry room too. This is very messy. This is like the catch-all. As you can see, this is the catch-all. Because they, we've had people in and out working. Everything is just everywhere. That's my little art area. Yeah, this is my art area. And there's cans and ramen noodles sitting on there. Awesome. That's my little stockpile up there that I have. <laughs> and over there. <laughs> yeah. It's my emergency toilet paper and stuff. But, and then like school snacks and Dell snacks and cereal and our lanterns in case we ever have a blackout. 
Which I feel funny because I was laughing at Dell. I was like, we should just give those away. We're never going to have a blackout. Yeah, I ate my own words there. But anyways, I'm going to go ahead and start getting this done. And I think, yeah, the laundry's done, so I need to take the rugs out and let them dry. So, that's what I'm going to do. So, I just got this fancy flyer in the mail. I folded down the little edge there so y'all couldn't get my address. Yeah, for all you little creepers. Anyways, they got this little combination box thingamajiggy on here. And this is supposed to be like how you play. It's already got a number here, which is supposed to match this one. But anyway, you're supposed to like pull this. You got one. Fancy ordeal. Oop, I pulled it. And it no, says I to activate. It. You already pulled it? Yeah. That's why uh, the numbers were on there. Oh, great. So, well, supposedly I'm supposed to get $200 cash. Shh. Whatever. No, that's how much you get. No, look at the number. It matches. You this get two thousand dollars. Congratulations. No, two hundred dollars. You get two hundred dollars. Congratulations. Uh, no. What? Looks like a bomb. I thought you did <laughs> get it. Where's the baby? Be honest, baby. Yeah, it's looks like a little bomb though. Oh my This is not a toy. I don't know. I don't know why they send stuff like this. They waste money on flyers like this they send these ones where you got little keys and stuff in them it's such a waste because i mean i'm not gonna go buy a new car i mean i have a newer vehicle i mean it's not like new it's new to me it's not like new model but it's new to me and it's like almost paid off so why would i go get another one i mean not saying that if they said hey i will give you 200 dollars," i'd be like oh no you keep it so would take it. Somebody give me two hundred dollars. Heck yeah, I would surely take it. Got a lot going on in my life now that that two hundred dollars is needed. So. Oh my gosh, it is! It's a bomb on his ball. Yeah, kids are destroying the house as usual, but. Whatever. I'm in here answering stuff on YouTube and I have a headache. It's kind of sort of going away, but. Oh. I was having Dana rub my head when well, my hair looks all crazy. I need to wash it tonight. I was going to wash it last night, and then I decided not to, but I need to wash it tonight. How come you don't get $200 so. cash? Because they want you to buy a vehicle. You could buy it. Uh, yeah, let's buy a vehicle. Do you have the money to pay for a vehicle? Yes. No, you don't. I don't either. I'll give you all Kids my just think, you know, money comes from trees they and do. places. I've watched all right, many throw this in the trash for me. I've watched all many movies. Like Austin Alley, she had a money tree. That's fake. Mm. I just bomb on me. Anyway, so, um, this evening, give it back. He had it first. This evening, I'm going to make, um, yeah, I'm entertaining us out. Anyways, I know, I'm just all over the place, y'all. I'm going to make, though, so, um, cowboy casserole. So, I got my hamburger meat out. Ugh. Standing on this ladder. Hopefully, I don't fall. I need to get my baked beans out. And my biscuits are in the fridge. My onions in there. It's really simple and it's really easy. And I really like that. You know, it's like um, the other night. What did I make? I made something. It was just so easy and so simple. And like, if you were having in laws over or whatever, it was a great way to impress them. What did I make? I made something Can I though. Mom. I made. Oh, yeah, I cook so much I just don't know. But oh, oh, the ravioli. You know that took like literally what? like by the time that everything I done, it took literally about ten minutes. And you know like if you're newlywed or you know whatever, and your in laws are coming over, you know that's a great way to impress them. You wiping your hands off? Yeah. So anyway, I'm gonna get my stuff for that. Because I'm going to make that later um, in about an hour or so. What, what for that? So, cowboy casserole. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, I'll kind of show you guys, walk you guys through it. I'm going to do a little cooking video on it as well. It's not going to be like a big, long, drawn out thing, but I've kind of come to the realization that not every single cooking video has to be big, long, and drawn out. It can be just quick, easy meals that people have not thought of or um, don't know about or just an idea, really. I hear Riley in the bathroom, so, gotta go. All right, it's dinner time. I'm rounding up my hamburger meat right here. I'm gonna make the um, cowboy casserole. And I think I'm gonna just kinda sorta keep doing it like um, I did my Cinderella one, which um, is pretty much 
film me doing everything. It's not really exactly face related. And then just do like the intro and the ending another day when I have a face full of makeup. But anyways, um, I'm chopping up my onions right here. I'm gonna chop up some bell peppers and I'm gonna throw those in my hamburger meat when they're done. But I got some cheese, some baked beans, and some um, biscuits over there. I got me a pan here, Dell's home. So, anyways. Oh, and two, I think it was Erica. You wanted to know how I do my beachy waves. Well, this is how I get out of the shower and I put my hair up in this really weird ball. And uh, I go to the bathroom when it's halfway dry, blow dry the roots to give it a little volume right there and kind of blow dry the little bun piece right here and when I take it down out of the bun I just squish it up. I'll show you guys another day but anyway so, so I got the baked beans and hamburger meat and stuff all in here. I just put my biscuits in the oven here. We're gonna cook those up just a little bit just because in the past when I've made this the bottom of the biscuit doesn't get done and they're kind of gooey and nobody likes that so i'm going to bake them just a little bit and then we're going to place them on top of that and then some cheese and let them finish going at it so yeah thought i'd let you guys know <laughs> update you on my dinner <laughs> i don't know and that's what your cowboy casserole looks like dale's making um some potato fries over there at the last minute, so we have to wait until his fries are done. As he usually does. Hey, it just came upon me, okay? A guy at work suggested it. I said, hey, let's try it. Anyways, we gotta wait for those fries to be done before we can eat, so probably like another 30 minutes. And that's what it looks like. Like I said, real easy. Dell's taters it took forever. But, yeah. Mm. Riley, I'm gonna eat. You need to get up there and eat. What do you think, Daniel? Good. Excellent. Mm. <laughs> it is. He's over there eating it. Brody's getting some oh, napkins for everybody. Biscuits? If you use the flaky biscuits. Which you should. You can only get... It's good. Like the amount you want. I love Does it. Does that make any sense? If you don't like a big, thick, hearty biscuit. Oh, you can peel them back. You can peel them apart and get like a little sliver mm -hmm. or a heavy piece. Yeah, I, I know what you're saying now. Preston, where'd your biscuit go? Oh, so he ditched the biscuit. All right, to eat. Brody's got him a deviled egg. His dad made him. He ought to smell really uh, sweet tonight. Riley's refusing to eat as usual. He wants the biscuit, but there's biscuit on his plate. So, I don't know. But I'm gonna go ahead and eat though because I'm starving, so.